people don't understand the, the connection between their psychology and them and the crises they're in and their voice. I knew I needed to create an add-on system to the systems that were already in place because I could see from personal experience the holes and the gaps that were there for me. So I think one of the key elements of the approach is that we look at the person behind the performance. And this came because so many times with adults standing at the piano teaching them to sing, uh, it didn't matter how much technically I knew and they knew, there were still aspects that they couldn't move on. So I needed to look wider as to why that might be and how I could support that differently. What was the turning point? Ali Bell. Gotta cry. I met Denise because I was having some psychogenic vocal issues, so everything was fine organically with my voice, but it didn't work properly. And my singing teacher knew the work that Denise was doing, and I met her and read some of the, her PhD and realised that it answered lots of my questions. About five years in to the PhD, I was really floundering and nobody got it. Nobody knew what I was talking about with the case studies, um, with the way that I wanted to be, to be, to be rolling it. I didn't know how to do a PhD in a music framework. I was talking about people, not music. And she just got it. Everything that she was saying made complete sense. And I hadn't heard it anywhere else before, so I couldn't understand why it made so much sense. But it was only her that was saying it. And we just sort of clicked like that. She kept reading it and she kept telling <sighs> She kept telling me it was of worth and it was important. Up to then, it, it really did feel like me and just me. And that I, nobody knew what I was talking about and why. And by now I've been training, what did I just say about you, eight, seven of the PhD? So you're talking eight years of psychological training. And she just kept reading it and picked me up and and completely um, turned it all around. I didn't know that I needed the things that she was offering. I couldn't have asked for it. I couldn't have written a list saying, I need all these things so that I can feel better. But when I met her, she did all these things and I knew they were gonna make me feel better. It's very odd. I can't quite explain how unaware I was and then the moment I got here I knew I was meant to be here and starting to to read the research as well also helped me understand and and I got really interested and my voice just came back easy as that if only I'd known to start with to come here <laughs> It only takes one person to believe in you. Because when one person believes in you, then everything changes. Through doing this work, I realised what was really important for me was that when I came here, the safety that was created to allow me to grow. And that's kind of what I've taken with me through all aspects of my work. I want people to come to me and feel completely at ease so that they can go through anything they need to go through and come out the other side. 
that's a really special thing to create. I learned how to do that from Denise. The more you love your art and your creativity, the more you need to love yourself. We're growing a community of people who respect each other and that's really precious.